Go team, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today we're talking about some new fish that I got. Yeah. Alright, so if you have watched some of the previous videos you will know that not long ago I was down at Redwood Aquatics. Uh, when I was down there, there was a magnitude of some fantastic fish, and I happened to bring some home. Um, I didn't bring many home, I didn't bring as many home as I wanted to bring home, but I'm really happy with what I've got. So let's check out the fish that I've bought. So when I was down there, I saw these absolutely beautiful, stunning skunk corridors. Um, I had them in the shop for a while, and they didn't sell. I didn't know why they didn't sell, because they're absolutely stunning. Um, I thought to myself, because I literally had them in the shop for about three months, I thought to myself, right, if nobody buys them this week, I'm going to take them home. And what do you know, somebody bought them. So when I was down there and I happened to see them, I was like, nah, I'm grabbing them, that's it, I'm taking them. So these are the first little fish that I bought home, skunk quarries. They're really, really rad. They're growing incredibly fast. I've had them for, must be about six weeks or so now. And they're absolutely flying as far as um, growth rate goes, which I'm really happy with. What appealed to me about these um, in the shop was that I had a group of six or eight, I can't remember what it was, but they'd all kind of sit in the same direction and made that little black stripe they had look like they were kind of pointing in the same way, which I thought was kind of cool. So these are the first little fellas that I bought home. So I bought half a dozen of these. Uh, generally speaking, the rule of thumb is things like quarries and other schooling and shoaling fish as you want to get a group of six or more. So I've got half a dozen in here. Um, fingers crossed I can spawn them. And if I can spawn them, I'm going to build up my numbers to fast, fast significant numbers in six. Um, but I, I really like them. I think they're really sweet little catfish. Uh, currently they are on a feed of getting a bit of Novo tab. They are getting um, live bloodworms and Daphnia from some of the ponds that I'm growing out outside. And I give them a little bit of... Oh, come on Cam, think about it. Uh, Sarah tropical granules as well. So that's the bulk of it. Majority of the time they're getting uh, live food over um, prepared food. It's probably... Um, twice a week prepared food, the rest of the week is live food or frozen food, you get a bit of frozen bloodworms but yeah that's what they're getting at the moment. So the other little catfish that I got were the Peru gold stripes, uh, so here's one here, they a real cool little fish, they are very shy compared to the other quarries that I've got, they don't often come out. Um, they like tucking themselves under plants. I'm struggling to focus here. There's definitely one under there. There's one under there. So they're fairly shy little fellas. Um, they tend to hide a lot more than the other ones that I've got. There's one under that crypt. Another one under that crypt. There's a couple tucked in out the back. And there was a couple under that, that tube. So they're definitely not as active as what the skunk quarries are. They don't seem to sh seem to shoal the same way or anything like that. They're very, very reclusive. So I got six. And unfortunately, one didn't uh, last the first couple days. Um, you know, traveling with fish, acclimatizing all that, it can happen sometimes. Yeah, so I've got five of them. Um, lost one on transport. It happens sometimes. One hour later. So to get this shot here, I literally had to put some food in the water and walk away for about 45 minutes before they came out. So these fish are very, very reclusive and very, very quiet. Or well, at least my ones are.
two new fish that I picked up from Redwood Aquatics down in Christchurch. If you've not seen the videos that I've done for them, check somewhere up there and uh, we'll put a link to them there. They're well worth it. There's three videos. Seriously, it's well worth having a watch. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please share it, like it. If you've got any questions, any comments, bang them down below. I'm more than happy to answer anything that I possibly can. Uh, and again, sharing the videos helps us grow far faster than anything else. And to be honest, we've been growing really well recently. So I'd like to thank you all for that. Uh, but that's pretty much me. So have a good one, guys. Happy fish keeping and catch you later. Skunk Corys are super sweet.